Capuchins in the United States have been involved in parish ministry for perhaps 150 years or more. Traditionally, Capuchins have not done parish ministry, but in the United States there was a great need in the late 1800s with a great influx of immigrants from Europe, Italians and Irish and Germans and other groups who came to, to the United States because the bishops felt a great need we Capuchins responded and said, yes, we would take parishes in the United States. And so I've been a parish priest for uh, all, most of the 36 years of my priesthood and have enjoyed that very much. So as, as pastor here at Our Lady of the Angels Church, I get to celebrate Mass every day uh, with the community, daily Mass, and then of course Sunday Masses. Confession is essential too all the sacraments, anointing of the sick. I am the uh, pastor of St. Aloysius and St. Teresa Parish, which are <laughs> a ways from here. But as the pastor, I am uh, basically the head of the parishes. As a Capuchin and as a Franciscan, where seeing Christ in the poor is a big theme of it, uh, these two parishes, the parishioners there at these two parishes are certainly very much that way. My own experience of growing up at St. Joseph's Parish in Hayes, Kansas, I was originally a parish of, of German Catholic immigrants. Most of the people who belonged to that parish uh, were either immigrants from, German immigrants from Russia or descendants of them. And I remember as a child going into St. Joseph's Church and seeing on the confessional confessions in German or in, Sp or in English. <laughs> And so for me, it, it was a very natural step to want to work uh, with the poor, to want to work with the immigrants, since that's the story of my, my own family. Our Lady Guadalupe is a parish where probably about at least 80% of the people speak Spanish. Uh, most are immigrants from, from Mexico, but also all over the Caribbean and even from Peru and Venezuela. And so to serve immigrants is something that has been very much a part of our Capuchin experience. My parents were brought up in a Capuchin parish. I was brought up in a Capuchin parish. I learned from Capuchins how to be a pastor. I ministered for a while as not as a Capuchin pastor, but as a teacher and as a, somebody involved in a school. And then going back into parish work, it was like falling into, ah, this is something that I really love, being a brother in a parish. One of my most unforgettable characters uh, was a man who was a professor at the at the university, who was also a part of the Potawatomi people. And when it was time to celebrate the Easter Vigil, I, I didn't realize this about him, but I, I walked up to him and I said, Jerry, how about, uh, would you please prepare the, the holy fire, the fire that we're gonna bless outside at the beginning of, of the Easter Vigil? And he looked at me and he just beamed. Uh, he said to me, you know, I'm a Potawatomi and we're the keepers of the fire. And I thought, wow, the Lord is really at work here, you know, helping us to live our Catholic faith in a beautiful way, uh, coming from all different kinds of cultures. Many people that comment on our charism as Capuchins in the parish that it's a different feel, it's a different uh, just approach that we have with people walking alongside them. As a Capuchin, I come to, I'm one of you. Yeah, I'm the pastor and the leader, but no. I'm one of you, I'm here to serve you. When I was assigned, my first parish that I was assigned to was at St. John's in, in Lawrence, Kansas. And uh, that's where I really learned how to be a um, Capuchin a pastor. And it was in something that Mike Scully, Father Mike Scully passed on. He was the first Capuchin pastor in that parish. And he kind of changed the, the attitude of the parish or the image of a pastor in the parish, and I followed in his footsteps. You know, you're part of a diocese, but you're also part of the, the family of a parish. You're here as a brother building up the family of the parish. And so to me, that's at the heart of Capuchin Parish Ministry, is walking with our brothers and sisters, encouraging them, inspiring them, praying with them, uh, working right alongside them. This is where life is, and uh, that's why I see you know, I, that's why I see so much of the, the ministry in a parish is very much of a Capuchin ministry, ministry. This is where the life is. I was reading something the other day that said that one of the styles of leadership that's so important for us is 
is to lead by example. And I think that's what we Capuchin friars do well. You certainly see yourself as the servant of those in the parish. As a Capuchin priest, as a Capuchin, uh, I of course live here in the friary and I live here in the community. For me, that's the most life-giving uh, way to serve. Our Capuchin charism of fraternity, just living together as brothers and serving together in community with, with the brothers. And we have so much more to offer when they can see the different stories in brothers, the different personalities, uh, the different gifts that, that brothers bring. Thanks be to God, our Capuchin Postulancy program moved to Colorado Springs, and I live in the Postulancy house. And so the new brothers who come to us uh, for their first year, learning how to be a Capuchin, to pray with us and do ministry, uh, and to learn about uh, the doctrine of the church and about St. Francis, uh, they have an opportunity to serve at Our Lady of Guadalupe Parish as catechists or in the youth group or the prayer group. St. Francis had a story of who is the perfect friar? All right, so one brother comes to Francis and asks him, who's the perfect friar? And Francis says, well, he'd have to have, you know, the graciousness of Brother uh, Rufino and, and the, the simplicity of Brother Leo and, and the, the poverty of, of this brother and all these qualities he goes on and, and lists. And so his point is that the perfect friar isn't any one of them, but all of them together, <laughs> you know, they're, they're not as strong on their own, but together they're, they make something beautiful.